great. This is what I needed to get with some of my point cards. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be drawing a question and when I draw the question, I'm gonna answer, you can answer it. You can either play against yourself for the quiz or you can find someone in your home and play it with them. So on the Friday nights, this is really a thing that the kids love to do and it really reinforces what we're talking about. So let me look for the first question. Let me see, I'll go into my chart here. The first question is, oh, it's worth a hundred sour watermelons. So 100 sour watermelons, if you get this answer correctly, it says we've been talking about forgiveness all month. What is the best definition of forgiveness? So is this the best definition? A, pretending nothing happened, walking away mad, ignoring the person who was unkind to you, or deciding that someone who has wronged you doesn't have to pay. So think for a second. Do you think it's A, B, C, or D? Do you know what? If you guess that it was D, deciding that someone that who has wronged you doesn't have to pay, you just earned yourself a hundred sour watermelons. So let's go on to our next question. And let's see what it says. Um, if you don't know the answers to some of these questions, what you can do, you can go into the video blog, um, scroll down on it, and you can go back to the beginning of March, watch the videos, and then for sure, you're gonna know these answers. Ah, this is actually worth a hundred gumballs, if you get this answer right. hundred gumballs. Okay, so Peter asked Jesus a question about how many times that he needed to forgive other people. Jesus answered him and then he told him a story about a servant who was forgiven a large debt. So he was forgiven a debt of 10,000 bags of gold that he owed to the king. But then the servant, he went and found somebody who only owed him a hundred pieces of silver and he said, give those back to me right away. So I have the question. The question is, why was the king so angry? Was it because of A, the servant forgot to thank the king? Was it B, he realized he was going to be short some gold? Was it C, the servant did not forgive someone who owed him just a teeny amount of money, even though he was forgiven a lot, or that the king changed his mind and he wanted his money back? Which one do you think it is? A, B, C, or D? If you said C, then you just got a hundred gumballs. So let's see what our next question is here. Uh, let's see. This question is, oh, it's worth a hundred sour. Oh, I think there's another question here, one second. There may be another one that I can ask before that. Let's just see. Um, oh, here it is. This is worth a hundred Smarties. So if you get this one right, give yourself a hundred Smarties for your scoreboard. So one of the points that Jesus was making in the story was that we need to forgive others because of how much God has forgiven us, that's A. Is it B, kings can get angry if they don't get their way? C, forgiveness isn't worth it? Or D, all we can do is our best to forgive others? Which one do you think it is? A, B, C, or D? It's A, that we need to forgive other people because God has forgiven us. Okay, let's go on to the next question. Oh, this is worth a hundred sour watermelons. This is now going to week two. So if you want to look at the story before you answer the questions, you'll be looking for the story that says March 8th. Why did Zac Zacchaeus, the tax collector, climb up the sycamore tree? Because he wanted to build a tree fort? Um, because he loved tree climbing? because he was so short he couldn't see over the crowds to see Jesus, 
or because his kite was caught in the tree? Which one do you think it is? Do you think it's A, B, C, or D? If you said C, you were right. Zacchaeus was such a short guy, he ran ahead of everybody because he wanted to make sure that he was able to see Jesus when he was going by. Okay, let's find out what the next question is for a quiz. So, I hope you're being able to answer these and do just the greatest job, a great job as you guys do on the Sunday night. Oh, this one is worth a hundred gumballs. So this question is, after Jesus went to Zacchaeus's house, Zacchaeus changed. Before he cheated people and now he was giving half of what he owned to people who didn't have very much money. And Zacchaeus also said that he was gonna repay anybody that he stole from and give them four times as much money as he took from them. So here is your question. Why do you think he changed? Was it A, he had a guilty conscience? B, he realized more people would like him if he was a bit nicer? Is it C, once he experienced Jesus' love and forgiveness, he wanted to show the same love to others? Or was it D, he had too much money? So what do you think? A, B, C, or D? If you said C, you're right. Once he experienced Jesus' love and forgiveness, he wanted to show that same love to other people. And we were talking that week about how God's love, how it changes us when we forgive other people. It changes who us as a person that changes and has the potential to change the person who's forgiven. Oh, here's another question. This one is actually worth 100 Smarties. So let me read you the question. Jesus told a story about a man who had two sons. One of the sons demanded that his dad would give him half of his inheritance. The dad did and the young son soon went out and he wasted all of his money. Soon he had nothing left and he decided that what he had done was wrong and that he would have been better off staying with his dad all along. What did the son decide that he would say to his father when he saw him? Now you can look up the answer in Luke chapter 15, verse 19. So did he say, Dad, why did you like, let me make such a big mistake? Did he say that? Did he say, um, did you miss me? Did he say, I should have realized it was a dumb idea? Or did he say, D, I have sinned against heaven and you? So what do you think? Is it A, B, C, or D? If you said D, you're right. I have sinned against heaven and against you. So let's see the next one. Oh, I just have, oh, just a couple more. So the next question that we have in our quiz is, oh, this is gonna be worth a hundred sour watermelons, woo! So this is the question. The Bible says that the dad gave him new sandals and a ring. B, hugged and kissed him. C, threw a party. Or D, C, yeah, or D, all of the above. Hmm, what do you think? A, B, C, or D? If you said D, all of the above, give yourself a hundred sour watermelons. Okay, let's see, there's just another, just a couple more. And then we're down to our special ones at the end. Okay, so how are you doing on your on your quiz so far? Um, question number six is, in Luke 15, 20, there is a word that describes how the dad felt when he saw his son walking to him at a distance. What was the feeling that the dad had? Was he mad at his son? Was he puzzled? Was he relieved that now he's gonna have more help with his son back? Or was he full of compassion and care for his son? What would you say, A, B, C, or D? If you said D, you were right. The father loved 
his son so much that he forgave him and that he showed how much he absolutely loved him. Let's see the next one. Oh, here's a bonus question. So this is a bonus question worth a hundred. We're gonna go for, let's say, a hundred of the gumballs for this one. So this is a bonus question and it says, at our winter kickoff party. So if you weren't actually at the party, you can still kind of give a guess to see what you think the answer was. But at our winter kickoff party, what type of animal did every kid stuff? Do you think it was a polar bear, a penguin, a turtle, or a sloth? So what do you think? Was it A, B, C, or D? You know what? If you said A, polar bear, we all stuff these great, the, actually they're cute, they're tiny little polar bears. So that's what we did. So let's see, there should be one more here. And it's another one of our special questions. Oh, here it is. At our painting party, what did we paint on the canvas? So we had a painting party with all the kids. We painted, we used some acrylics on the canvas. It was super, super fun. So what do you think we painted? Do you think it was a toad, a firefly, two ladybugs and a glass heart, or a unicorn? What do you think? A, B, C, or D? If you said C, two ladybugs in grass hearts, you are right. So for those last two questions, um, if you got the last two um, right, give yourself 100, Smarty for one of them, and 100 gumballs for the other. So I wanna say so great to see you on Sunday. Um, make sure that you um, look at the video, um, check them and see what you need to do because we're going to be doing some crafts. There's a couple things. I already have them ready. Can't wait to do them with you. Um, some crafts that we're going to do and we're going to actually, once we make them, we're going to use those crafts in the story. So if there's any paper towel rolls around your house, make sure you ask a parent if they would save them for you and hang on to them for Sunday. And you could check back here and then you'll see uh, the other um, resources that you're going to need for it. So I want to say goodbye. Thank you so much for joining. And I hope that you won against the person that you're playing with. Take care, you guys. See you.